Okay, this is totally random, but I think I need to talk about this before I do this how to clean windows video. So I have these Bluetooth headphones. They're really awesome. I listen to music and stuff when I'm working and I can answer clients and I can uh, um, talk to people over the phone and, and put in their information as I'm, you know, driving or, well, I shouldn't do that as I'm driving, but you know, as I'm talking to them, I can call on my phone and put in their info. And so I'm on this window cleaning job and I'm talking to my friend on the phone, just like chatting, because I have these Bluetooth, I can work and talk. And he's like, I'll call you right back. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm working, doing, and then, uh, so I get a call. And uh, so I answer it right here without even looking at it. And I'm like, oh, he's calling me back, cool. So I answer, I'm like, what's up, man? How you doing? Just like that, not even kidding. And she's like, hello. And I was like, oh crap. It was literally one of my clients uh, calling me to set up a uh, window cleaning. I'm just, I'm so, I just had to talk about that. I'm just so upset with myself for that. That was just so stupid. I had to be like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I was talking to my friend. Uh, it was so dumb. So yeah, if you have these, always look at your phone before you answer. Cause it's a, man, it's my business phone. I can't be doing crap like that. All right, that's, that's, that's basically what I want to get out of the way. Okay, here's how to clean windows. All right, so you get your mop all wet in your bucket. Um, or do you have one hand? So you're just gonna mop it down the whole window. Try not to uh, smash into the frames like that because look what it does. It's getting on the frame and dripping down. Um, and that'll leak back under your window sometimes. And also don't jam it into the top like that because it'll, it'll also come back down like that. So just do what you need. Once that's done, your squeegee. I'm gonna use the 12 inch because this is easier for demonstration purposes. This is the fanning technique, which is pretty basic technique. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your squeegee and you're gonna to go to the left corner. If you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, it'll be the right corner. You take it into the left corner, put it like right about there, and then cut it into the edge and ride that edge up to the top and then go straight across to that corner and straight down here. Now, I'm looking at this through the camera, so I'm probably missing spots, but the most important part about squeegeeing is realizing that the squeegee can move this way, so the rubber can move sideways, okay, or it can move down, but it can't move up, okay? See what happens when it moves up? It gets, it judders. So you can move it sideways, no problem, and you can move it down. So that's all you're doing. You're basically coming down until it's straight up, and then you can move it up on its side like that, no problem. Back down until it's sideways again, then moving it on its side, and then back down. Now that's a principle that took me a while to figure out. Um, took many hours of practicing, but um, it's second nature once once you do it for a while. So that's basically the only principles that you need to remember um, is that a squeegee can really only move sideways or down. So as long as your movements are like this or like this or like this, you're not gonna have an issue. But always going up like this, like a problem that I had was, let me get water on this. When I started was I would go like this and I would do this all fine and I'd come down or I'd come down and I would like be like this. I'd try to move it backwards and it would judder. So it's all about moving it on its side, stop, then moving it back up. And really it's, all it is is practice. I mean, eventually it's gonna be so easy when you think about it. Um, yeah, you also wanna pay attention to these sides when you're doing them. You wanna get as close as you can to minimize detailing. Um, different squeegees are gonna, you know, be easier and more difficult for this, but yeah, you wanna get as close to that side as you can. So that's the squeegeeing part. Let me, uh, actual window really quick. So again, to review, you're gonna uh, scrubber, not hitting the frames or the sides as much. I mean, we'll get the sides, but don't smash it into them all the way. Okay. And then you're gonna take your squeegee, make sure you're moving in all the, the right ways. Sense, you can close out at the side. Or, it doesn't matter. 
So obviously, I mean, I'm going slow because I'm trying to show you. Um, that might not be the best way, but it's a pretty dang good way that's working. Um, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your towel, the detail towel, this is very important. You have to do this every window you do. So you'll grab yourself a detail towel. This is a huck towel. I try to keep usually two hands. I hold one hand on the back to keep this towel away. So you're only using one part. You're gonna go across all the sides then you get a new dry spot on your toe. All the sides of the frame. And the better that you get at um, squeegeeing the window and leaving less water behind, the less you will have to detail. But for a while, you're going to be going through towels like crazy. Uh, at least when you're starting. So that's that. That window is completely done. And then you can the next one, the next one. Obviously, you know, it doesn't take you this long to do one. You should be popping these out pretty quick once you get the technique down. Um, but yeah, that's your basics on how to fan a window.